Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization, Egypt. First, before we get started, we'll go ahead and go over their unique power and unique goals. First, the unique power, the power of the Pharaoh. Hereditary rule and slavery are enabled at start. That way you don't have to research the associated text, monarchy, and bronze working. And in addition to that, you don't have the one turn of anarchy to flip to them. It's very handy. Then your historical victory goals. Have more than 500 culture in 850 BC. No problem at all. Build the pyramids, the great library, and the great lighthouse by 100 BC. Only one of those that's fairly tricky is getting the great lighthouse. And finally, have more than 5,000 culture in 170 AD. That one's a bit harder, but as long as you know how to do it, it's not too bad. So, with that, we are Ramses II, and let's get underway. Tech scored again? Good God. Yeah, Virginia Tech is playing Boston College right now, and stomping on their throats repeatedly. This is getting ugly really ugly. Anyways, the Dawn of Man, here we are. First things first, you don't want to build your city here. It's not a bad spot, but a better spot is right here. For one thing, that spot is the only spot around here that is desert, not floodplains. So if you built here, you'd have this one spot that's pretty much useless. And thanks to that, by building your city there, it makes it actually useful. And we're going to head south with our warrior to start collecting tribal huts. So, that's first turn. Let's keep rolling. And here we go. Nit Rist. What is it with these North African people and having no vowels? Like LPQY. Which I want to say, thank you very much, you smell 42 for your video saying that LPQY is lip key. Which, if it was lip key, why isn't there a vowel between L and P? But hey, I'm not Carthaginian, whatever. So, we're going to get started on two warriors. A second one to go exploring, and then one to be a city defender. And the first tech we're going to research is mysticism, so that we can get started on the um, Stonehenge as soon as we can. So, we're going to continue heading south. There are, to the best of my knowledge, no, we don't need to review the civic options, because we already have slavery and hereditary rule. Continuing on, there are, to the best of my knowledge, three tribal villages in the entire continent of Africa, which seems kind of slim to me, but, you know, they're, it's better than having none, right? So we're going to continue south. In fact, this square right there, that is where Ethiopia is going to be starting later on. So there's no sense expanding south with our cities. They will just flip to Ethiopia when they show up. So continuing on with the exploring, the exploration, heading down... All right, borders of Nuit Rist have expanded. Continue exploring. This isn't it so nice how little time there is in between turns compared to Japan. All right, we got our second warrior. We're going to send him south as well. He's going to go pretty much the same spot. Start things off, and finally our last warrior. After the last warrior, we're going to get started on a uh, worker. And there's mysticism. We can build obelisks, which are a unique building. They replace monument, and it allows you to turn two citizens into priests, which is, you know, kind of handy. It's not that great as far as uh, unique buildings go. And here's our first tribal hut. We've got 65 gold. Eh, okay, that works. So now we're going to go for masonry so we can get that stone hooked up. All right, continuing on, heading south, heading south. You get your butt to there. Let's see, that worker, or that last warrior should be getting done here pretty soon. Heading on down, heading on down, heading on down. Filling the empty space with nonsense. Alright, we've got our last warrior. And you see, already at two population, we're sick. Just like in Babylon. Sucks, nothing you can do about it except start building. And get started on the first worker. Alright, let's keep going. 
and Buddhism has been founded in a distant land. Now I can guarantee that both of those were founded in India. Alright, still tons of time left, keep heading south, keep heading south, which I think I should have cut west there, but eh, we got plenty of time to worry about that. One turn to masonry. Yeah, let's cut west. I'm pretty sure the hut's right around there. And there's the last one. There's one there, and one there, and that's it. Okay, so we got masonry. Great. See, there it is. And this one will give us a scout. Uh, Alright, go auto-exploring. Maybe there's a tribal hut hidden amongst the jungles in Central Africa that I don't know about. If there is, that'll be great. So now we're going to go to fishing so that we can get to um, sailing. Because we're going to need that for the great lighthouse. And what do we got here? A settler! Awesome! That's going to help a lot. Sleep. No, actually, I probably should have said just take a turn, but whatever. So, now you head on back to Newit Rest. And don't wake up, just, just pause for a turn. Okay, and let's keep going. Go away, Panthers. All right, now, because there's pl tons of animals around, we don't want our setting our uh, settler back home unescorted. We're going to head him up, send him on up. I'm going to settle him right there. And we have our worker. Yes, I still want you to go right there. How about that? Okay, so let's get started on that quarry. Thank you to everybody who pointed out to me that it is better to just build the quarry without building the road first. I won't be making that mistake anymore. Let's go Stonehenge. See, attacked again. This is why you never want to have your workers or settlers running around unescorted. It's just asking for trouble. Okay. Um, you know, since he's really not going to be an explorer once he goes back, I'm just going to give him plus 10% to strength. And look, I still want you to go there. <laughs> oh, alrighty. And we've got fishing. Now sailing. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do mining first. I just think that it might, uh, you know, it, it get get the, uh, we've got plenty of time before our um, settler gets up there, before he needs to get started on the, um, the great lighthouse. So, no worries. All right, and our scout's wandering around aimlessly, going through the jungles of Africa, checking out what we haven't found yet. Oh, did, hey, Boston College actually got a first down. Wow, good for them. Okay. Oh, Tech has the ball. Oh, has the ball. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Tech is 30 yards away. They're going to at least get a field goal, if not another touchdown. And this is one of the great things about living in the middle of nowhere. You only get one football game. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, continuing on. Not all heck of a lot going on right now. Should be getting done with that quarry pretty soon, I'd imagine. And in fact, it's done. Now Stonehenge is only 10 turns away. Excellent. All right, get your butt over to the marble and hook that up next. And we've got mining. All right, so now build that quarry. And we're going to go for sailing. Because... The Great Lighthouse is definitely, of the three buildings that you have to build as Egypt, the Great Lighthouse is definitely the trickiest to get. Alright, so we got an extra warrior hanging out in Nivit Rest. And he's going to go ahead and bunker down. And uh, one more turn. And two more turns. Still got a little bit of time here. Um, wouldn't mind getting that settled before 
in this first episode. Um, yeah, I think I can pull it off. Alright, you don't need the escort anymore. Get your butt over there. Hey, Zap. Alright, I think that we're going to be able to get that settled. Hey, Scout's still alive. That's nice. You get your butt over there, too. One more turn. Oh, and we've completed Stonehenge. So, this has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization, Egypt, Episode 1. Stay tuned for Episode 2, and I hope you'll see me next time.